How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss rectangles. So in this video, you will learn the different properties of rectangles as well as its connectivity to parallelograms and apply the properties in solving problems involving rectangles. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Okay, math learners, welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter three of the grade nine mathematics, which is all about rectangles. Question is, what is a rectangle? A rectangle is a parallelogram, of course, it is a quadrilateral, in which its angles are congruent. Meaning, if the total measurement of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees, the measurement of a rectangle, its angles will always be equal to 90 degrees, meaning right angle. So, the next question is, what are the properties of a rectangle? The properties of a rectangle are as follows. Property number one is that all the properties of the parallelogram is also a property of a rectangle. Therefore, the six properties that we have discussed in parallelogram also applies in rectangle. But there are two more additional properties. The first property added is that in a rectangle, all angles are congruent, meaning they are right angles. And another property is added and that is the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So those are the properties of a rectangle. Six properties from the parallelogram and two more properties for rectangle that is diagonals are congruent and the angles are congruent. Now let us go to our discussion board for us to go deeper in understanding rectangles. Okay, math learners, we are here to our discussion board about rectangles. And we have here the given KLMN is a rectangle and the diagonals intersect at O. Therefore, this figure is a rectangle and its diagonals intersect at O. So, we have the problems true or false. So, whether these statements are true or false, let us find out. Okay, so we have here KL or line segment KL is congruent to line segment LM. KL is here and LM is here. So, remember my dear math learners that in the parallelogram properties, opposite sides are congruent. However, this side and this side are not opposite and it is not part of our properties. Therefore, this is false. Okay, now let's go to the second problem. KM, okay, this is the one, KM, the diagonal, and LN are congruent. Now, remember the properties in rectangles that diagonals are congruent. So therefore, this line segment as well as this line segment, they are congruent. Therefore, this is true. Now, let's go here. Line segment KN is perpendicular to KL. KN so this is KN and KL is perpendicular. Now my dear math learners, remember what is the meaning of perpendicular? Perpendicular is the relationship when the two lines or two line segments intersect and the intersection forms a 90 degree angle. So this one and this one, of course this is the angle that they had formed. And remember that all of the angles in a rectangle is 90 degrees. Therefore, this one and this one, they are perpendicular with each other, and that is true. Now, we have here, KO and NO are perpendicular. So, we have line segment KO and NO. They are perpendicular, this one and this one. Okay, so do we have any um, properties that supports that one? That the diagonals form in a rectangle are perpendicular? Okay, none of that. Okay, so therefore, we can say that this is false. Okay, that is false. Now, let's go here. The measurement of angle LMN is 90 degrees. So, where is that LMN? So, we have L, M, 
N. Okay, so this is 90 degrees. And of course, that is one of the angles in a rectangle. Therefore, that is true. Now, let's go to our question number 6 or statement number 6. The measurement of angle LMO is equal to 45 degrees. LMO. So, this is the one. So, is it 45 degrees? My dear math learners, there is no property that states that the diagonal bisect the angles of the rectangle. So, there, and even in the parallelogram, they, it doesn't support that statement. So, therefore, this statement is false. Okay? Now, let us go to our seventh statement. The measurement of angle KLN. KLN. So, this is the one. And the measurement of MNL. MNL. This is the one. They are congruent. Now, my dear math learners, this is an example of what we had in parallelograms. And since this is a parallelogram, because a rectangle is a parallelogram, this is one diagonal and it cuts the whole quadrilateral into congruent into two congruent triangles. So therefore, this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. Therefore, this is correct. True. Alright. Now, how about this one? Line segment KO is congruent to line segment LO. KO is congruent to LO. Okay. My dear math learners, since... The measurement of this diagonal and the measurement of this diagonal are congruent. Therefore, if they are being bisected with each other, this one, this one, this one, and this one, they are all congruent. So this is also true. Alright, how about our statement number 9? Angle KLM, KLM, okay, so this is the one is equal to angle NML. NML. Okay, this is the one. So, since they are both 90 degrees, therefore, that is also true. And finally, we have angle KMN. KMN. So, this is the one. And angle KML. KML. Okay, this is the one. They are congruent. Okay, my dear math learners, that does not support the discussion that this diagonal will cut our rectangle into two congruent angles. Therefore, we can say that the last statement is false. So, I hope, my dear math learners, from our given statements, you have understood well the definition, the properties being applied to different scenarios about rectangle. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have well understood our lesson for today about rectangles. If you do have some questions about this topic, do not hesitate to put your questions in our comment section below. This is still your free access math teacher Ash and always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much, God bless and keep safe always. Congratulations math learners for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.